I first started wondering whether I was going through the menopause when I was in my mid 40s. I was furious, really furious all the time about everything. I ranted at the radio, I screamed at the newspaper, I shouted at the television. Mrs Angry was closely followed by Mrs Weepy. I cried at everything and anything. I even cried at the Great British Sewing Bee. So I asked the doctor whether it was the menopause and she said, and I quote, if you're going through the menopause, it won't make any difference to what we prescribe you. End of conversation. I didn't find that particularly helpful and I was talking to my friend Hazel about this a few days later. We both agreed that we'd like to find out more from other women about what their experiences had been, how long the menopause lasted for and whether the effects were short lived, what coping strategies they would recommend to help us get through it. We were both members of the WI, so we went to the Tea Intense camping weekend and talked to other WI members about it. We started to collect stories from other women during that weekend and found that they too would like to know more. They asked us to collate stories and advice from other WI members and put it together into a book, which is exactly what we did. Over 100 WI members completed an online questionnaire and 13 kindly allowed us to interview them. We've drawn all of this information together into our short book, The Me in Menopause, Shared Experiences of WI Members. We started off by telling, or we start off by telling the stories of the 13 brave women who shared their experiences with us in some detail. This shows just how diverse the symptoms of menopause can be. The next section lists all of the effects that the menopause has had on everyone who responded to our questionnaire and how these have impacted on their lives. The third chapter describes all of the advice and coping strategies that these wonderful women have shared in the hope that you'll find them useful to cope with your own situation. And the final chapter covers life after the menopause, a reassurance that life can continue to be good after the event. And some people even talk about some positives that have come out of it. Hazel and I hope that our book will give you solace, help you to realise that you're not alone and give you confidence that you will come through to the other side. We've produced an ebook that's for sale via all of the major platforms. Just search under the book title, The Me in Menopause, or alternatively go to www dot books to read dot com slash the me in menopause and choose your preferred ebook store. The ebook is just three pounds forty nine. In case you prefer printed books, as you've seen already, we've produced a hard copy for four pound fifty plus one pound post and packing to the UK. To order your physical book, please email me, Julia, on Julia at JuliaGS dot com. As you can see, the Me in Menopause is a short, easy read. We didn't want to produce a medical tome. We're not qualified to do that. And there are plenty of those available already. We wanted to produce something that's fairly quick to read, something that's reassuring, that feels like you're getting a hug from other women who care. I do hope that the menopause isn't too challenging for you and that our book helps you to make the most of this time in your life.